finally, after waiting patiently for my Saracen Yolocophila flower to bloom, I'm now ready to transfer this pollen, which I stored in the fridge for the past week. Now in my last video, I sourced this pollen from a Saracenia flava rubricopora variety. So hopefully this pollen is preserved enough that this cross-pollination project is gonna result in viable seeds. Okay, so the stigma are these hooks. See that hook there? It's only a small part. See that hook there? So what you do is, you just get your cotton bud, it's got the pollen on it, and then you gently roll it over the stigma. Okay? So there are five of those stigmas on the flower. So what you have to do is you have to transfer the pollen onto all five stigmas. I'm just going to turn that around. I'm going to find out where the other one is. Okay, so there's a, another one over here. So I'm just going to lift that up a bit. Oops, sorry. Let's turn it down there. Yeah, there's another one right there. Can you see it? I'm not sure whether you can see it. See the hook down there? So you just get your cotton bud, as I said before, just gently roll it on the stigma, the cotton bud, and that's all you got to do. So after you've transferred the pollen onto the five stigma on the flowers, Simply put your stored pollen back into your jar, place that jar back into the fridge and get it ready for the next day. Now repeat this procedure of transferring the pollen onto the stigma for say about three, four, five consecutive days. The reason is because those stigma are only receptive for a short period of time. You don't know exactly when, so to get around that you simply transfer that pollen onto the stigma over those consecutive days in the hope that on one of those days the stigma will accept that pollen and you will get a successful cross-pollination.